Are you looking for the perfect chocolatey dessert that's healthy and good for you? Well, these dark chocolate truffles are absolutely delicious and they're also completely vegan, gluten-free, and refined sugar-free, and easy to make. My name is Aliena and welcome to my kitchen. The first ingredient we have to make our truffles is peanut butter. And you can also use whatever nut butter you like, but one of the main important things is making sure that it's just the nuts and salt because a lot of nut butters add so many other things and oils and sugars and we do not want that in our truffles today. So make sure you read the label on your peanut butter. Next, I'm going to add in some flour, but gluten-free flour. We have three and a half tablespoons of almond flour going in, along with three and a half tablespoons of coconut flour. And to add a little chocolatiness, we have two tablespoons of cacao powder. And I also have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I put vanilla in almost everything I make. I love vanilla extract. And I also have half a cup of pure maple syrup. You do wanna have good quality maple syrup for this recipe. And now you're just going to wanna to stir this all together. And now I'm going to add in three tablespoons of my dark chocolate chunks. I just took a dark chocolate bar and chopped it up but if you just have chocolate chips, you can use mini chocolate chips. And now give this a quick stir until the chocolate is totally combined. This is also a great time to taste your batter and see what you think. Mm, so good. I love chocolate. I feel like when I'm baking, half the batter, not hot, half obviously, but I always am eating the batter while I'm making it. Okay, now that our chocolate is combined, look at this. This is what you want, you want it all to hold together. Make sure your hands are clean because we are rolling our truffles out. So I like to take a pretty heaping tablespoon of my dough and just roll it in your hands until it becomes a ball. And now you're just going to keep doing this and once you've rolled out all of your balls, I like to pop them in the freezer for about 30 minutes so that these are really nice and firm. Okay, so now I have my truffles out of the freezer and I am dipping them in some dark chocolate. For my dark chocolate, I have half a cup of dark chocolate that I melted along with one teaspoon of coconut oil. And I just melted this in my microwave, checking it on 15 minute inter 15 second intervals and giving it a stir. And now I am just dipping my truffles in it and I like to take a fork and knock it a little bit to get any of that excess chocolate off. And then I can put it on my plate. And you can put anything you like on top of the truffles. You can put some shaved coconut, some flaky sea salt, or just enjoy them just as is. Once you have dipped all of your truffles in the chocolate, you can put these back in your freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes for the chocolate to set up, and then you can eat them or transfer them into your fridge until you are ready to enjoy them. And here we have our first batch of truffles out of the freezer, and they look so delicious, and I love it because the chocolate is super silky smooth. Now it's time to taste our truffles, but I've already actually tasted it. This is like my second one, but I'm still gonna taste it right now because they are so good. Mm. These truffles are so delicious and full of good chocolatey flavor. They are one of my favorite desserts when I'm trying to eat a little bit cleaner, but I still have that nighttime craving for chocolate. So please let me know if you tried this recipe and what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you wanna see a few more healthy, delicious desserts, there should be a playlist right here or over here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next Sunday. And don't forget to check back in next Sunday because we are making one of my favorite breakfasts. It's chia pudding two ways.